Hello, the gentleman gamer here, and today I'm playing Eve Online. Um, at this very moment, I am attempting to uh, uh, use the Intosis link on the Jove Observatory, and uh, these seekers um, don't like that apparently, and immediately aggressed me uh, as soon as I landed on Grid. But I have noticed if you hug, if you like, tightly orbit the Jove Observatory, they have trouble hitting you. I'm not sure why. But I, I, I uh, like, drifted off, like, past 10, and they started hitting me really hard. Then I got really close to the observatory again, and they keep missing me. I'm not complaining. Because <laughs> uh, last time, they, um, they almost broke my, my tank here. It was like five or six of them, and they just kept hammering on me. But look, we'll test it again, you know, for science, and uh, we'll see here. Let's see if they, they, they spike back up again. Getting past 11. Oh, the hit's coming back now? No, I'm not seeing it. Like before. I don't know. Actually, I'm not, I have no idea what it is then. It's not proximity to the, 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 the observatory then. It's something else, but sometimes they hit really hard and sometimes they just keep missing. So I'm not sure. Um, I can't, actually also cannot see the weapon they're hitting me with. Like, there's like nothing coming off of them. So I'm not sure what's. It's like a bug of some sort. But anyway, uh, <laughs> so um, as of Tuesday, the uh, the new Entosis link has been uh, introduced to the game, and people started building them. I picked mine up for about 60 mil, um, oop, and there's a hits again. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what, what the rhyme and reason is here, uh, but it's almost done. I think I can tank them for, the, for that long, as long as no Drifter Battleship show up. Uh, but, but again, I said I, um, I picked mine for 60 mil. Um, this, the, the ability of this to be used on the Job Observatory uh, was brought to my attention from, uh, from a couple people. Uh, Ravis from the Inicellar Privateer blog, uh, Mark726 uh, from Eve Travel, and also, uh, I remember now, a, a video from Reload. He did the same thing, and he was harassed pretty much uh, as soon as he landed on Grid, but he got harassed by Drifter battleships that, that are much stronger than Seekers. And my cycle is done. Let's get out of here before they called me help. Um, and yeah, see, then they started hitting me for some odd reason. Um, what was I gonna say? I almost forgot. <laughs> oh yeah, reload had the same issue. And uh, let's get out before drifters show up. Now, at, when you um, when you use this link, it, it leaves you vulnerable for quite a while. So we'll look at the actual like uh, attributes here. It uh, increases the mass to your ship, which makes you really slow and no, not really slow, but really it makes you harder to move, uh, harder to warp out. Um, I also someone else told me in local that uh, while this is active, you can't at, you, you can't warp. Um, it doesn't say anything here, but uh, I'm gonna take his word for it for the time being. Uh, the range is 25, uh, so you do have some wiggle room there, so you don't have to be like stuck onto the structure or anything. You can't get remote assistance, so no um, no cap from other people, no reps from other people, and it uses Strant, so I had to actually um, bring some with me. Uh, but it only, only uses one, one per five minute cycle, so you don't actually need that whole lot. I brought 31, because I'm anticipating being out here for a few days. Um, hopefully not getting blown up. And let's look at the description as well. Okay, mysterious device, the result of reverse engineering, uh, reverse engineering salvage drifter technology. As you can, uh, as you saw the effect the beam had, you can looks very similar to that, uh, the one seekers use. It appears to use ancient domain techniques, materials, a lot more efficient mind machine links that were once thought possible, not links that were, were thought possible in the past. Practical application technology are still unclear. Okay, fantastic. And <laughs> also the disclaimer I should read as well. The Carthum Conglomerate, which I'm assuming is the corporation who who helped uh, build it, as well as registered subsidiaries and partners, ac accepts absolutely no legal or ethical liability for any unforeseen consequences of connecting untested drifter drive technology directly to the user's mind. So, uh, <laughs> it's all on you guys. Um, and the fitting is pretty light, so any, pretty much any frigate can put it on. I think any frigate. I, I'm assuming what frigate doesn't have 10 power grid. Uh, it only takes Infomark Psychology, level 1. Um, I am curious, though, if the like, like at the, the stuff you get, I've been doing a couple times. So I got a few. Uh, some are more, uh, more, uh, not less rare than the others. It seems I got like five of this one. And let's let's check which one this is. If they don't name the same, but if you stack them, 
they get sorted. Okay, so I got another one of this. But they, they seem to go... Um, some are more rare than others. And I'm wondering if the Tech 2 one has a, like... Has like the uh, the hidden ability because um, they don't really tell you um, to get the more rare ones. Um, I'm not sure, of course. If once if, when I went to the market to buy mine, uh, there was no Tech Two out on the market. Um, the Tech Two is a little more; it's a lot more um, uh, capacitor intensive. Um, also, I think fitting wise as well. Let's see, a hundred. So, what's mine have here? This frigate. I could fit it on this, but I'd be losing all sorts of tanks, so... Um, probably a cruiser of some sort. I definitely want to try it, depending on how much it costs. Um, I'm curious to see if you get more uh, the the rarer ones, because there definitely seems to be uh, rarer ones and less rare ones. Uh, let's take a look at least one. Um, let's take a look at this one. Yeah, this is an old one as well, so it goes back to even before there was a... a uh, YC uh, for the years. This is back to the old Terran calendar. And then this one, we'll look at this one. Updated Galenti status provides a model for social cohesion. Suggests further observations are shared with the modifier enclave. So they were watching the Galenti, and if you read down here, they were actually watching the Kaldari as well, and uh, of the eventual split between the Kaldari and Galenti. And uh, when that split happened, apparently they were watching and like comparing the, the existing. Um, social cohesion models as they're calling it so I'm also curious about this bottom one I read before life sign detected aboard the ship contrary to intelligence gathered by the Valor Observatory so the, this, I'm wondering if there is one in Valor um, I might fly there after this and see if there is one there um, and what vessel they were talking I wonder if you go to certain ones they have certain uh, uh, certain like bits of information you can get from them um, I, I kind of like the idea. I kind of like the idea because this like, the idea would be cool. You can go to specific areas, get specific information, but it also means you do a lot of flying. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, but what I uh, this ship I did it this ship because uh, I saw the trouble um, uh, reload was having, and um, and there was uh, if I was attacked by six seekers, and I'm not sure an interceptor could tank that exactly. Uh, so I used a vengeance. It has a like um, has a, a armor resist bonus, so I figured that would help with this, and um, and I pretty much just tanked it. Just uh, DCU two, energized, uh, adaptive nano, um, a, a biggest plate I can fit, an armor repper, and just more more buffer. Um, that gets me about I think eleven eight thousand HP. Um, so I, I I tanked six, but uh, um, seekers while they're trying to shoot me and they're getting direct hits on me. Uh, but I, I don't think I could last. I probably could last another minute or two, but hope, thankfully my cycle ended and I warped off. But if you guys want to try it, um, you can pick these up. I think most trades up or have some already. I think mine was 60 mil when I bought it. And um, I'm not sure if they work on anything else. I'm not sure if they work on uh, like Pocos or anything like that. I tried on Stargate, but it, it said that they don't work on Stargates. So, I know they scan asteroids, they scan all sorts of stuff, but I'm, I'm going to try to scan all the, all the stuff they scan and see if I get anything from it. And, uh, who knows, maybe maybe there's no application for these other than um, just a Joe Observatory. Uh, but if you like lore, then definitely try it, just be wary, because they do get attacked on site now. Um, Seekers, I can tank him with this, uh, this ship, for the majority of the cycle, I think. And there is some a bug uh, going around. I think that they they start missing you for some reason, uh, for some reason. And like, there's no like actual like weapon effect coming off of me more. So I don't know. But uh, yeah, give it a go, guys. It's a very interesting, very cool. If you actually love the lore, it's very. I'm gonna go through all these and look up the dates and the times and um, the dates for each one and see if if they if they give out information that we don't have already. <laughs> but that's it guys thanks for watching if you like the video leave a like if you like the content subscribe and fly safe and fly brave